Hey guys, I'm here for a cinema chat on the amazing Spider-Man like I promised. Now, if you check through my past videos, I already did my first ever cinema chat. But, you can check it out. It's about the Dark Knight Rises. And it's just this video is the exact same like that. I'm just going to say, why well, am I not excited for the amazing Spider-Man? And that's what basically a cinema chat is. Talking about a big release, what comes out and say, why well, am I not excited for it? Now, first I want to start off with the old vids of um, Spider-Man. You know, the Sam Raimi trilogy. Now I want to first chuck out there that I like that trilogy. I didn't hate that at all. I like what Sam Raimi did with it. I like the trilogy. And I'm like one of those fanboys who got really mad when Spider-Man 4 didn't get created. Because freaking Carnage was meant to be in that movie. That villain. If you know who Carnage is, you would be mad as well if Spider-Man 4 didn't get made. Which happened. Instead we got a reboot. Okay, now I want to say why I am. Excited for the Amazing Spider-Man. For starters, I'm excited because of the title itself. You know, there's so many different kinds of Spider-Man. You know, there's Ultimate Spider-Man. There's Spectacular Spider-Man. And the Amazing Spider-Man is the original Spider-Man, but is the best, like, comic book one. You know, the best comic book series. And so, I was just happy with the title. Also excited because of the trailers. Because um, I like what... Mark Webb's going with, with this one, you know. It's going to go with a lot more story of who Peter Parker is than what Sam Raimi did, you know. Um, Sam Raimi did a good story and stuff, but this has gone a bit more further, a bit more deep into the Peter Parker story. Because you see in the trailer that um, he wants to find out more about his parents. And, you know, he's going to be looking more about his parents. And the lizard um, knows something about his parents, so he wants to find out about his parents. So the lizard's going to be some how involved with his parents and you know it's really cool because in the beginning of the first trailer you get to see that clip when he's a kid and you don't get that with Sam Raimi so I think that he's going to do a lot more with story but also what I like what Mark Webb did is that he's using Gwen Stacy as the original love because she is actually the original love and you know he's not skipping straight away from Gwen you know because Sam Raimi skipped the whole Gwen Stacy thing and went straight to Mary Jane Watson. I like that he's doing Gwen Stacy here. So Gwen Stacy looks great. You know, Emma Stone looks great as Gwen Stacy. She looks beautiful. She looks hot. She actually looks like a good Gwen Stacy. Andrew Garfield looks like a great Peter Parker. You know, at first I thought he was a bit too short for the role, but in, cine in trailer 2, he actually looks, he bolts up heaps and he actually looks like the amazing Spider-Man. So, I like what they're doing there, and I like when it showed, like, the cop dad wants to get him and, like, bust him and stuff. So, it looks really, really good. You know, because it's got to show a lot more story than Sam Raimi, that's what I think. And I like what the relationship, what they're going for in this movie. And I like that New York, it's really dark and gritty. When I saw the second trailer, I actually said, there's no hope for this movie. I actually said that. And after I saw trailer 3, I was happy, because, you know, in trailer 2, we see the lizard and... You know, he looks like a prehistoric animal. He looks like a prehistoric animal. And in trailer 3, he looks really good, you know. He's moving around a lot more better. He's climbing up walls, which I wanted to see. So he looks a lot more better in trailer 3, you know. And, and I'm happy now because, you know, it showed all I wanted. It showed a great villain with a few scenes, action. It showed a great relationship. It shows a great story. I like the whole thing, what they're going with the father. I like the whole, the whole, the place thing. You know, it's all good. And I like their New York. Everything's working out for the film. So I'm generally excited. And you know, the four minute preview, that looked amazing as well. You know, you just see the lizard chucking all his cars off the bridge. And you know, the whole, the all holding on by a string. And just that looked generally amazing. It just looked amazing, you know. just And you know, Spider-Man's just holding on to this one string. He's really holding on, eh? He's like, he, he's just struggling to keep this kid alive. And I like it when a villain pushes a superhero to its limits. And that's what you get to see from the lizard in that four minute preview. So he looks generally amazing. I'm a bit pissed off that um, Proto Goblin's not in this movie anymore because you know what? It's like the same thing over again about Carnage. You know, he's a great villain and he's not in this movie. So it pisses me off more! Oh my gosh. But still, I'm excited for The Amazing Spider-Man, and I'll review it as it is. So that's why I'm excited for The Amazing Spider-Man. Thanks for watching Cinema Chat 2. That's all from Dylan the Mix. One. Please like, favourite, favourite, and subscribe. That's all.